just the right time. Because guess what? Today is a really special day. Do you know what today might be? Let me give you some hints. Hmm. Today is September 5th. It's Saturday, and it also happens to be National Cheese Pizza Day! Yay! I'm so excited. I love pizza. Do you love pizza? Do you have a favorite kind of pizza? My favorite pizza is a type of pizza that a lot of people don't like. I wonder if you can guess what it is. I'll give you a hint. I like a sweet topping on my pizza. And it's yellow. Pineapple! Oh, I love pineapple pizza. I love pineapple in general. It's my favorite fruit. But you know what? Nobody else in my family likes pineapple pizza. So I get my own pizza all to myself. <laughs> so we're gonna celebrate pizza in my family. And you know what I did? I made up a song all about pizza. Do you wanna hear it? I'll sing it for you once, and then you can sing it with me the next time. It's gonna be an instant hit, and you heard it here first. Are you ready? Pizza, 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 you're so very yummy. Pizza, 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 get into my tummy. I eat you every day, but my grown-ups say no way. But that's okay, cause we're eating some today. Woo! That's it. Do you wanna sing it with me? Let's sing a pizza song. Ready? Three, two, one. Pizza, 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 you're so very yummy. Pizza, 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 get into my tummy. I'd eat you every day, but my grown-ups say no way. But that's okay, cause I'm eating some today. Yay! Thank you for singing my pizza song with me. So now, what else can we do today to celebrate National Cheese Pizza Day? My favorite way to celebrate is to make some decorations. And all you need to make decorations is some paper and a crayon or maybe colored markers or pencils and scissors to cut them out and tape to hang them up. So if you want, you can click the link below and I have some free decorations your grown up can print if you have a printer at home. And those decorations include a party crown that makes it look like you're wearing pizza on your head. Some pizza shaped bunting. Paper flags are my favorite decorations. I have drippy pizza. I have not so drippy pizza. And then we have some regular triangles. If you don't have a printer, you can get some paper, cut it into triangles, and there you go you're ready to decorate. So when you came, I was cutting out a crown for my daughter. And what you'll do to make your crown is you decorate it first, or you can cut it out first, and then you just cut all around the outside. Maybe your grown up can help you. And then this strip is what goes around the back of your head. So you'll cut those out, and then your grown up will tape the strip to the sides, and you have a crown. Or you can cut two of them and you can have pizza all around your head too. My crown doesn't go very low because I have a big head because I'm a big grown up. But yours should fit pretty well. You can size it to fit. Yeah, it's a custom pizza crown. How many kids can say they have a custom pizza crown? Super awesome. And the same thing for your bunting. To make your bunting, did you see I made some bunting already and decorated it? You'll decorate the sheets of paper, and then you cut around the triangles. And then each piece of bunting has two little circles at the top. If you want to string it up, you can hole punch them. Maybe you have a hole puncher, 
or you can just point a pointy pencil or a needle through those holes and then you'll thread string through them and then you can tape it up on the wall like I did. I just use regular tape. We don't need anything fancy. And then you'll have decorations. I made myself some pizza earrings too. Maybe you noticed them. They're super fancy. I printed some pizza slices and cut them out and I stuck them to a pair of earrings. So we have our decorations down. What else could we do to celebrate National Cheese Pizza Day? <gasps> we have to eat some pizza. You have a couple options. One, your grown-up can order you a pizza. Or maybe if you guys are going out to restaurants, you can go to a pizzeria. That's a place that makes pizza. Or you can make your own pizza. Making pizza is super simple if you don't want to be fancy. You just need to get some pizza dough, pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, some oil to oil the pan or the sheet pan you put it on, and your favorite toppings. Do you have favorite pizza toppings? Mm. I think it's really fun to see what kind of pizza everybody likes. So I also made a favorite pizza survey. See, you can get this on my website. So you'll call your friends and family and say, I'm doing a pizza survey. Will you participate? And you can write your name. You'll ask them their favorite type of pizza. Did you know that there are lots of types of pizzas? There's thin crust pizza and thick crust pizza, and then there are different styles, like Chicago style pizza, which is the best in my opinion but lots of other ones like super thin and greasy New York thin pizza. And then you'll ask what their favorite toppings are and their favorite slice. What do I mean their favorite slice? Well, let me tell you something about pizza. Have you ever noticed that some pizza is sliced into triangles like my earrings? But some pizza, even if it's a round pizza, is sliced into squares. Do you know why? Well, square cut pizza is called a party cut. And that's because when you cut it into squares, there are more pieces, which is better for a party. And that brings me to my last fun activity for National Cheese Pizza Day. And that is learning about pizza Slang. Do you know what slang words are? Slang words are kind of like nicknames. You know how your friends or people who know you really well, maybe they don't call you by your proper name, maybe they call you by your nickname? Well, we have nicknames for words that we use a lot and that's called slang. And I have a set of pizza slang that only real pizza insiders know. And you, can become a pizza insider. It's true. You wanna be a pizza expert with me? Let me teach you a couple pizza terms. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. A pizza maker has a special name. We call the feminine version of a pizza maker is pizza yola. And the masculine is pizza yolo. And there is a fancy pizza maker. Oh, maybe you knew this. Another word for pizza is pie. You could say, ooh, this is a delicious pie. And then people who don't know pizza very well might think, pie? We're eating pizza. And you can say, no, silly. We call pizza pie. Or za. When I was in college, there was a pizza place called za's. Oh, you know this already. Party cut, square cut pizza. It's a party cut. Oh, I love, this is my favorite one to say. Cornichone. You know what cornichone is? The cornichone is the raised outer edge that is on the outside of a pizza. Mere mortals call this the crust, but not us, because we're experts. We call it 
cornicione. Yeah. Okay. Next is the coastline. That rim of sauce on a great pie where the sauce peeks out all around the edges of the pizza. That's called the coastline. Hmm? The red sauce. Oh, I have a question for you. Do you eat your pizza crust or do you leave it on the plate? If you leave it on the plate, that's called the bones. Yeah. Are you a bone eater? I leave the crust. I don't like that crust. Oh, here, this is a real insider one. Mutts. Can you guess what mutts is a slang for? Mozzarella. So there are so many delicious cheeses, but the cheese that most pizza has on top of it is mozzarella. But if you're a pizza expert, you're not gonna waste your time saying mozzarella. You're gonna say mutts. Hey, I need some more mutts for this pie. And then, did you know that mozzarella comes aged, but it also comes fresh? And fresh mozzarella is called wet mutts. Mm. That sounds a little yucky to me, but it doesn't taste yucky. Oh, so this is what they say out on the East Coast. I'm in the Midwest, but out on the East Coast, they call a perfect pizza a Sinatra. Mm, look at that perfect pizza. Yeah, a little bit of sauce is showing the coastline. The cheese is glistening. The cornicione has a nice brown to it. That's a Sinatra. Do you guys know Frank Sinatra? He sings some wonderful songs. And a perfectly cut piece of pizza where the two long edges are the same exact length is called an isosceles. Yeah, I think it has to do with an isosceles triangle having two sides that are the same length. Sounds about right. If you take a piece of pizza to go, you know what that's called? A roadie, because you're taking one for the road. Ooh, look at that stretchy, gooey cheese. That's called a cheese pull. I like cheese, so I like a good cheese pull on my pizza. Finally, have you ever burnt the roof of your mouth on a piece of super hot pizza? You couldn't wait, the pizza's in front of you and your grown up says, don't eat it yet, it's too hot. And you say, I don't care, I'm ah! The roof of your mouth is burnt. You know what you have? Pizza palette. Pizza palette is a burnt roof of your mouth. And it's terrible. And I'm sorry that happened to you. So now, you know how to make pizza. You know that today, September 5th, is National Cheese Pizza Day. You know that the crust of a pizza is really called the cornicione, and that if you leave those crusts behind, those are bones, and a perfect pie is called a Sinatra, and if you take a piece for the road, it's a roadie. You know lots of cool slang. You are on your way to becoming a pizza expert. There's only one thing left for you to do now. It's to eat some pizza today. Happy National Cheese Pizza Day! I hope you get a perfect Sinatra pie, and I hope it's so delicious you can't wait, but you don't want to get a pizza palette, so you do. And then when you eat it, it has the perfect pull of cheese. And I hope you have a wonderful, National Cheese Pizza Day. Thank you so much for celebrating pizza with me. Mmm, I'm gonna make some cheese pizza with my babies tonight. Not from scratch. We bought pizza sauce and dough. We're just gonna have a nice relaxed time making some pizza. And we're gonna enjoy it and we're gonna wear our crowns. And I hope everyone has a fantastic National Cheese Pizza Day. I hope you'll come back and join me for the next celebration. This was so much fun. Thank you for coming.